Welcome back everyone. Um, this video is not going to be anything about you know, motorcycles or any kind of tech. Um, I thought now was a good time to make this. It's going to be completely non-structured, not that any of my videos really are. Um, I wanted to talk about a specific, you know, subject that has caused a little bit of little bit of negativity and some you know negative feedback recently mostly from americans um and i think that's partly my choice of name for my channel so obviously my channel name is the stammering biker and i have had a little bit of negative feedback or remarks shall we say in regards to the flow of my you know content how i speak uh, the way I put information across, and generally that my videos are boring, um, and they're wasting people's time was one of one of the comments. Now it's not lost on me that the way I speak is a little bit waffly. Um, I probably use too many words when I could make that more succinct but I wanted to explain the reason. Now, where I think there's been a bit of confusion is my channel is called The Stammering Biker. Now, in the UK, stammering refers to uh, a speech condition, which I have. I've had it since I was eight, um, and it affects the way I, you know, speak. You'll probably have already noticed in a lot of my videos um, I pause a lot. I say things like, you know, as a bit of a filler word. Now, that can be very frustrating for people at, you know, times. And they, in real life, they'll say things like, well, go on then, you know, and they sort of get quite, you know, agitated that I can't get my words out. But what I've realized is in America, they don't call it, you know, stammering. They call it uh, stuttering. So maybe that there's been a bit of, you know, loss of, you know, loss in translation there. So I just wanted to address that. Why am I? Why am I even doing this if my content is so boring? Well, I'm 47. I've stammered or stuttered since I was eight. Um, it's not as bad as a lot of other people's. Um, I cope with it a, a, hell, a hell of a lot better than, you know, some people do. Some people find that they can't even order a meal or engage in a conversation with anyone really due to how severe it is. Now that, though I am not, my, you know, stammer slash uh, stutter isn't that bad. But the biggest way that it affects me is in my confidence. If I'm in a group of friends and we're just, you know, talking and the, the conversation is sort of flowing you know, quite easily, um, I think a lot of my friends would probably say that I talk too much. Um, because once I get on a roll and I feel my speech is sort of flowing, I can talk really easily. I still use a lot of um, you know, filler words like, you know, or, um, and, but it flows. Now, the problem I have whenever there's anything sort of, you know, structured is now I, I work in IT. I have done ever since I was 17. And at times that means I have to go into meetings and talk in a very structured way and give information that's incredibly detailed. I work in software dev uh, and testing. And if it's a meeting and it's very organic, the, con the conversation is sort of flowing quite well, I can chip in and you know, add what I need. But if it's one of those conversations where 
I know there's, there's an expectation on me to speak at a certain point. I can feel the, the dread. I can feel the blood flow in, 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 in my face. I sweat and I get very, very nervous. And I hate that. Most people are pretty kind. They're patient. They wait for me to speak. Um, they let me have the time that I need. But sometimes people do get a little bit frustrated and they can even be a little bit mean. So why am I doing these, you know, videos? Mainly to try to overcome that. For many years, I've shied away from you know, any sort of public speaking um, in meetings where I know there's an expectation on me to speak. I get so wound up and anxious that once the focus is on me, I clam up, I say very little, and as you would expect, my stammer or stutter, that gets much worse. If I'm in a loud environment, there's a lot of people talking all at once, I find it incredibly difficult to chip in um, and say what I want to say. So the reason for me doing the videos that I do is because I love motorcycles, I love tech. I don't love talking. But instead of you know, constantly fearing and dreading being able to speak in a structured form, um, I thought, why not tackle it head on? Now, you're always going to get people on the internet who just want to say mean things. You know, I've, I've stammered since I was eight. I've heard everything. And I try to turn that into uh, more of a positive by inviting people to, you know, mock me, which I think, you know, if I'm in control of that, that's better. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what else I wanted to say on this video, but I just wanted to put something out there to explain who I am, why I'm doing this. I don't have any, you know, aspirations to, to have, you know, one million followers and for this to be a full-time thing. Um, over time, I'm hoping that the confidence will, you know, come, that my, my videos will be a bit more to the point. Um, the com my speech will flow, you know, you know, more easily. Those negative, no, those negative, those, those negative comments, they do you know, hinder that in some way, and I try not to let it get to me. But hopefully, I can be a bit more exciting to listen to, if that's even a thing. Um, for those that don't know what stammering is or, you know, stuttering, um, it's, it, it affects a lot of people differently. So it may be the, you know, it may be the, the, it may be the repetition of a certain word. So at least in, at, at least in my experience, I know what I want to say. I know the word I want to say. It's not that my, it's not that I can't think of that word. I know it, but I can't say it. So some people, it will manifest itself by them repeating either the entire word or part of the word. So they may say, I need to go to the sh 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 shop. But for me, it tends to be more that I just can't get that word out. So I may say, I need to go to the, and it just, I know the words there. I know what I want to say, but I just can't get it out. And it's incredibly, incredibly frustrating. Now I could edit all of this out in my, you know, videos, do multiple takes. And I'm sure that's what a lot of YouTubers do. Um, their videos are probably far more curated uh, and well, you know, edited than mine. But the more I try to get around or retake, the worse my stammer actually gets. So it can, I'm trying to be as fluid as I can be um, and not, 
not get myself worked up by doing multiple takes, trying to do the same bit over and over again, because like I say, eventually it gets so, you know, frustrating. I go red in the face and I figure it's as, that looks quite dark. Wow, okay, I might have to make this brighter afterwards. Yeah, so, um, um, lost my train of thought. Yeah, so the prospect of doing multiple takes and trying to edit it so that the video flows perfectly and is as though there are no mistakes on my part. One comment was that I got uh, the name of my bike wrong. Well, I did. I, I said I had an R1250 and it's an, actually an R1300, but I've had two R1250s. But that is another sort of, you know, side effect of having a stammer is um, I have to put so much uh, focus into what I want to say that it, I suppose the only way to explain it is it redirects a lot of my brain power, if that's even the right word for it, away from staying on track of what I want to say. So. To the people that have said that I need to sit down and I need to, you know, structure my videos, you're, you're absolutely right. And I do. I have it all written down. Um, I know what I want to say, but the stammer, the stutter causes that to sometimes go off, you know, track. So, you know, sorry to those who are not enjoying the content. I'm new at this. Um, not new at tech, but I'm new at talking to camera, trying to convey information to an audience in a way that's engaging and exciting. I'm sure I'll get better, but is my stammer going to disappear? Is me sometimes losing my train of thought uh, a little bit? Is that going to go away? Probably not. Will I learn to cope with it easier? Um, I hope so. Um, and I hope to make more, you know, videos and hopefully get sort of better at that as I go. So yeah, thank you for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> um, be kind to each other. Um, don't let people on the internet get you down. Um, and yeah, if anyone you know, out there sort of, you know, suffers from a similar speech issue. Um, I hope you can get over it and take the right steps in order to try, try to live with that. It's probably been the biggest confidence um, you know, downer that I've had in my entire life. So thank you for listening and uh, Hopefully my next video will be something bike related and uh, be a little bit more exciting. See you, see you later.